This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Recently, a new library for data science was released. Its name is Pandas AI. And Pandas AI is a Python library that integrates artificial intelligence capabilities into Pandas, making data frames conversational. This means that you can talk with your data frame and get answers quickly by only giving simple prompts. And you can even automatically generate plots with prompts. And in this video, I'll show you how to work with Pandas AI. So let's get started. Okay, here I have a Jupyter notebook of a Pandas AI demo that you can get from the official GitHub repository. And well, here you can see how to get started with Pandas AI and you can see some simple examples. But I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use a real data set that I was working in another tutorial. And this data set is gonna help us see the strong points and the weak points of this library because this library is currently not perfect. It has some issues and we'll see how this library works. So I use this template to get started with this tutorial. I copied some lines of code and I paste it in my Jupyter notebook. Here first we have to install Pandas AI. So I'm going to run this one. I already have this library. So I'm going to continue with the next step. And this is the template we have to use to start with Pandas AI. First we have to import Pandas, then we have to import Pandas AI and then we have to import OpenAI. And this is because I'm going to use the OpenAI API key to work with Pandas AI. So we have to use these three libraries and then I'm gonna use this data frame that has some sales data from a supermarket and I'm going to choose these three columns. So I'm going to quickly show you how this uh, data frame looks. And here's the data frame. We have three columns, gender, product line, and the total. So basically this shows how much female and male spend on each product line. And this is the data set we're going to work with. Okay, now to continue with this tutorial, then we have to get our OpenAI API key. And this one we get from the OpenAI website. And well, we have to go to this website, which I'm gonna leave on the description. And we have to click on view API keys. And here we have to create a new secret key. Then we have to instantiate an OpenAI object. And well, this is gonna be the LLM and also a Pandas AI object. And here we're using the LLM from OpenAI. So we have our Pandas AI object. And with this, we can start talking with our data frame. So I'm going to run this and now I'm going to use the pandas AI object. So here I write pandas underscore AI and then I'm gonna use that run. And the first uh, argument we have to pass is DF. And the second is uh, the prompt parameter. So I write prompt and here we have to write any query we have. For example, let's see the data frame again. Here's a data frame and now let's ask Pandas AI which unique products are in the product line column. So the only thing we have to do is go here in the prompt and type our question. So here I write which products are in product line. So product line is my column and I want to see the unique products. So if I run this, we should get our answer as if we were working with ChatGPT. So let's Let's give it a second and we have the answer. So the product line includes this product, this other product, and well, we get all the products. And to verify this is correct, I'm gonna use that unique function and see which columns are here. So we see that health and beauty is here, electronic accessories, and the rest of the products. So this is correct, we got a correct answer, and we got this only by asking a simple question. And now let's continue by asking a more complex question to see the capabilities of Pandas AI. So in this case, I'm gonna use again the run function and pass in the DF data frame I have. And in the prompt, I'm going to ask Pandas AI, for example, I want to calculate the total spent by each gender. So as you might remember, we have this data frame and I want to see how much female and male spent in total. So if I want to know this with Pandas AI, we can ask a simple question like calculate the total spent by each gender. 
So this is our prompt and now I'm going to run this and now we have the answer. We got the total spent by females and the total spent by males. And if you use the group by and the sum function, you can see that this answer is correct. But the thing is, when I tried to make a plot using Pandas AI, I didn't get this right answer. So to show you this much better, I'm going to ask Pandas AI to make a plot uh, with this data. And here is my prompt. So it's plot a bar plot that shows the total spent by each gender. And in this case, the question is basically similar to the previous one. We already know the amount spent by each gender, but now we want to see it in a bar plot. And it should get it right, but in previous test I did, it didn't get it right. Let's see if now we get the right answer. And here we have the bar plot. So here, as you can see, we have female and male, and we have a title total spent by gender. And in the male, we get um, a value close to this amount, 155. But in for female, we get a value close to 600, which is inaccurate because here is 167. And well, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Pandas AI could get these amounts right, but at the moment that we asked to make a bar plot, it didn't get the, it didn't get it right. The amounts are not correct. And the previous test I did, I found that if you give Pandas AI the data frame with the calculation already made, it can give you the right answer. But if it has to make the calculation on its own and then make the plot, it doesn't get the answer right. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in the next example, where we're going to make a pivot table using Pandas AI. Okay, in the next example, I'm going to try to create a pivot table with the following prompt. Calculate the total spent on each product line by both the male and female gender. So with this, I'm trying to generate a pivot table that shows how much both male and female spend on each product line. And I'm going to run this and see the results. And well, Pandas AI gave us the answer, but it gave us in a form of a text and we didn't get the actual pivot table, which isn't bad, but if we want to keep working with the with the data, we need a pivot table. For example, I was planning to make a bar plot with a pivot table, but if I get only this text, I won't be able to do this. So this is one of the drawbacks of Pandas AI. It's more for talking with a data frame, but when it comes to generating something like a pivot table or a plot, it doesn't always get it right or it doesn't get the result you expect. But anyway, Pandas AI still got the numbers right. And to verify this, I use the pivot table function and with this, I can get the pivot table that I was expecting to get. And we see that this 33, 170 is correct, it's here. And with this, we can verify that the numbers are right, but we actually didn't get a pivot table. But something cool you can do is use this data frame, this pivot table data frame that I created manually to generate a plot. Because as I mentioned before, if you give Pandas AI a data frame that is already processed, this data frame actually has the pivot table I was looking for, Pandas AI can generate the plot. And to show you this much better, I'm gonna use again the Pandas AI object, but in this case, I'm not gonna pass in the DF that we used before. Not this one, not this DF that we started working with, but the pivot table, which is another data frame that we created that only contains the pivot table that we wanted. And then I write prompt, and here I'm gonna ask Pandas AI to make a bar plot that shows how much money each gender spends on each product line. So now if I run this, we should get the bar plot with the values we wanted. And here's the bar plot. And in this case, the female and male bars are divided. And we see, for example, that for female, we have a peak in 33 approximately, and the lowest point is in 17. And if we go to our pivot table, we see that this data is right. And well, we can verify that, again, Pandas AI can automatically generate your plot if you give the data frame with the data already processed. 
And well, with this we can say that Pandas AI is a good tool to use together with Pandas, but it's not a replacement for Pandas because it sometimes makes some mistakes and you still need to know how to write code to guide Pandas AI, which means that you still need to learn how to code if you want to become a data analyst or a data scientist. And speaking of that, a good app I use to learn data science is Brilliant.org, which is the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is the best way to learn data science interactively. It has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to data science, with new lessons added monthly. Something I like about Brilliant is that it helps you learn how to think. For example, in the computer science course, you will learn the fundamentals interactively. This will help you develop your analytical thinking, which is better than just memorizing a bunch of formulas or equations, and it's necessary if you want to safeguard your career against artificial intelligence. Intelligence. Remember that AI tools will get better and better at writing code, but if you develop your analytical thinking, you'll always be one step ahead. So don't wait and start today. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash thepycoach. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm gonna leave in the description below the link of the GitHub repository so you can open this collab notebook and play with pandas ai and let me know in the comment section what do you think about this library all right that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one